Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest reports, Indian Air Force has successfully test fired extended range version of BrahMos air launch missile from Su-30 fighter aircraft. The launch from the aircraft was as planned and the missile achieved a direct hit on the designated target in the Bay of Bengal region. This is the ninth test of BrahMos missile by India excluding the misfire of BrahMos which landed in Pakistan. Also, this is the third test of extended range BrahMos and second test from Su-30 MKI this year. One BrahMos missile cost close to 30 crore rupees. Considering nine tests of BrahMos missile, India has spent 270 crore rupees just on test firing a BrahMos missile from sea, land and air this year. BrahMos and Su-30 MKI in itself is a deadly combination. Su-30 MKI is the backbone of Indian Air Force and is a bigger and a very powerful platform. The fighter has a combat range of 3000 km just with the internal fuel tank. It can be further extended by external fuel tanks or mid-air refueling. BrahMos integration with Su-30 MKI has been game changer. BrahMos has a range of 290 km and if you add Su-30 MKI's range, it becomes 3290 km. Now since Air Force has tested the extended range BrahMos, it adds up additional 300 to 400 km to the range which means Su-30 MKI can now target any naval vessel or a target deep inside the enemy territory. While the range of extended range BrahMos was not officially declared, it should be between 600 to 800 km. The range of air launch BrahMos will be more than what is launched from surface as it will have advantage of altitude and initial speed of Su-30 MKI. Also, it's going to be extended range, so the range will be more. This makes BrahMos a very safe and lethal platform. Safe because of the huge standoff distance, the mothership launching a missile will be far from the reach of even surface-to-air missile system like S-400. And lethal because no air defense at present can counter the launch of two BrahMos missile. This capability is a big achievement for Indian Air Force as it can now target even Chinese S-400 with Su-30 MKIs. Considering the deadly combination of Su-30 MKI and BrahMos, Indian Air Force has dedicated a squadron of Su-30 MKIs modified to launch BrahMos missile set up in Tanjabur in Tamil Nadu to protect the India's maritime interest. Reportedly, 50 Indian Air Force Su-30 MKIs have been modified to carry BrahMos A, which is air launch missile, and these modified Su-30 MKIs will have electronic circuits capable of withstanding even nuclear electromagnetic pulse. Indian Air Force has planned to procure 200 BrahMos air launch missiles. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.